Rich Viper Media is back again and today we're here to talk about remaps of a petrol and diesel car remap slash tunes. Petrol engine, you can get about 10 horsepower if the engine is stock and you do a remap, which on petrol cars they call it a tune, you'll get about 10 horses, that's max. Diesel engine, you can bring it from like 160 all the way to what, 200? uh 200 yeah yeah to about 200 stock engine everything stock so you can get 40 horsepower more where on the petrol you only get 10. and then there are stages to diesel engines as well you can have stage one which is a safe map which will bring you to 200 and then you can go to stage two replace some engine components if you want to go even all out you replace your turbos you replace your coolers everything and with stage three you can get like maybe 350. so the benefits of a remap basically and uh, so in a diesel wise and petrol wise, if you remap the car, you'll probably get better fuel consumption, better mileage, more power, and possibly better sound. It depends, you know, what you've done on the exhaust, let's say. Yeah, yeah because on a diesel car, you have to take out the DPF, catalytic converter, in order to remap it properly, to get max out of it. And yeah, like on a diesel car, it will definitely save you fuel. Where on the petrol car, it wouldn't really save you nothing. It would only eat more because you're already raising up the limiter. So it's going to take even more and more and more. But the diesel car actually saves you money and petrol car kind of takes it all away. But is the remap worth it? And what comes with it in the negative side of the remaps? So obviously you have more power, better fuel consumption. But then it comes to the bad points where you're going to break more car parts because the engine is not used to running that high. Components breaking so etc like the flywheel let's say maybe your injectors might not like the remap because yeah. it is eventually flushing down more fuel yeah. into the system yeah. um what else would it be boost more leak as well boost leaks all the pipes all stuff. sensors could sensors be an issue as, as well because the computer is you know different voltages and, everywhere. and, and even like drivetrain and everything because it's not used to it it's that much power so obviously everything is going to wear and tear much faster but if you drive it sensibly, so there is really no bad points about it because if you, if you take care of the car, if you do your oil changes, everything right, the car will last you forever. So there's no, nothing really bad about a remap. Depends how you drive it after you do a remap. And also a good point is that to get your remap or a tune in a good place, in a professional garage, not your, not your knockoff neighborhood garage or something, because you want to get it done professionally because if it's done wrong, you can blow your engine, you can blow everything. And if it's timing go off or something like you, the chain is gonna snap and you'll just have a disaster. So better pay a bigger money, proper garage, and get it done properly with certified garage and everything's gonna be fine then.